The idea of a Zoroastrian business network culminated in the formation of WZCC. The initial mission was to reignite the entrepreneurial spirit of Zarathustra's worldwide. We open chapters in various countries. The so local chapter puts all the Zoroastrian entrepreneurs in that area together. We have a lot of mentors. I'm a great believer that the role of a WZCC is to educate and to inspire. There have been a number of uh, courses and programs to open the eyes of younger people as to how they can get into business. You can participate in World Zoroastrian Chamber of Commerce meetings, events, seminars around the world. They can learn from the other members, they can learn from the programs, but even more important, they get to meet with people from the other chapters. It's a great opportunity to expand their business globally. I remember very vividly 9-11 when the World Trade Center was destroyed and shortly after that in October 2001 we participated for the first time in a global automotive exhibition. So there was no way that we could go to America for that exhibition and we had spent so much money preparing for it. So the networking of the Zoroastrian community led me to my saviour which is Rointon Rivetna. And Rointon was so kind enough to help us and assist us in putting up the stall in Cleveland. I don't know what we would have done without him. But this was our first exposure to the World Zoroastrian community. And ever since then, I've been sold on this whole uh, World Zoroastrian Chamber of Commerce. There were times in 2009 and 10 when businesses were tough across the global recession. There were various WZCC members who were close to me who said, Nosher, sure if your business is struggling, look at us and we will help you. Things worked out and... I didn't have to rely on their support, but just that whole aspect that I could obviously rely on my own community to support me. In 2009, I was approached by Mrs. Meher Besanya. Meher was preparing for the World Zoroastrian Congress and she wanted a destination specialist. My association started at a very unique time when we had a lot to do and within strictly restricted resources. But we completed with all collaborative efforts that it was a mega event and it was a very successful one. However, that's the time I realized that what a valuable platform WZCC is and how our members can benefit from that. For me, it has been a privilege to have led the WZCC here in the UK. Every single event that I attended while I was chair and since is an event where I've met fellow Zoroastrian entrepreneurs, but also where I've always learned. For entrepreneurs, uh, this is a great ecosystem uh, because there are great mentors, there are great people here. The idea is networking. To be able to have the ability to ask, I'd say, industry respected icons, that one question which is life changing. They give you a good support to whatever your dreams are. I have benefited a lot because I've gotten to know my community better, more than anything else. WZCC is very useful in leveraging your business opportunities and I would encourage you all to join and participate to explore the unlimited benefits provided by the WZCC. Recently the scope has uh, expanded where we like to bring professionals into the equation. I see in WZCC a very powerful concept for Zoroastrians and Parsis of tomorrow. In time to come, my vision, which I briefly described as the CII of the Parsi business community, should see light of day. So if someone is thinking about joining the WZCC, my only message is don't think, join. I was present at the founding of the organization in Houston, and I read a long poem there, and I would like to recite the last two stanzas of that poem, because they are still relevant. Now Parsis are spread everywhere and they can choose their land. If you in the diaspora dare, then once again we'll stand. In the big league of enterprise, renowned in every place, I know we can attain the prize if we just join the race.